By the end of this video, you're going to know how to create a Facebook carousel post on your business page in 2021. My name is Armando and I work with small business owners and entrepreneurs, helping them turn more strangers into paying customers. And if that's something that you are interested in, click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Now you came to this video because you probably searched Facebook carousel post in 2021 or how to create a Facebook carousel post uh, on your business page. Now, if you're here, there's a pretty good chance that you've probably already seen one of my previous videos where I show you how to do this using the ads manager and how to do this using creator studio the issue is now that facebook has completely changed their creator studio interface as you can see from my screen here and the ability to add multimedia when you click on create a post from the studio is no longer available now you still have the option to create an image add video and go live a whole and a whole bunch of other stuff which in my opinion it's a good move because now you can kind of preview everything. You can backdate post and save as a draft and have a few other options that you didn't have before, but that still doesn't help you create a carousel post. So what I'm about to show you is another way to create a carousel post that doesn't involve the new interface and doesn't involve ads manager. So what you'll want to do is go on over to the Facebook business page that you want to post your carousel post on and on the left hand pane here you're going to see an option that says publishing tools you're going to want to click on publishing tools once you're in your business pages publishing tools you're they're going to have the option to actually create a post right here and what you want to do is click on create post and once you do this within publishing tools you're going to have the options to actually create the multimedia section of it and so when this post window opens up you're going to click these three dots here at the very bottom and that's going to give you more options of type of post that you can create and one of those options is going to be photo and video now when you click on this the option to have multiple pictures multiple videos uh, a photo album an uh, instant experience and the carousel photos will show up so once you click on this carousel photo option here you're able to paste a link from where you want these carousels to be created. Now I'm going to navigate here to my local lead mastery workshop page and I'm just going to copy the URL of where I want my carousels to link to. Then I'm going to head back to uh, publishing tools and I'm going to paste that destination URL and I'm going to click go. What this is going to do is it's going to pull all those images that are on those landing pages into this post and therefore you can create carousel uh, images out of. Now there are times where a URL does not have a carousel or where you want to paste a YouTube video on here or you may not even have a link that you want to paste period from your website. That's okay. Just go ahead and grab a link from one of your YouTube videos or from Google or something and put it in here just so that you can get this carousel uh, square slides in here. Now once this link is pasted in here you can kind of see at the very bottom where it says available images you're allowed to add more and for me let's say I want to shut these off I don't really want anything except for this one and maybe some other ones that are not on my sales page so what I'll do is I'll click the um, uh, square with a plus button here to upload a file this will open the file picker from your uh, Mac or PC and you can then select the images that you want to add on your carousel. Once those are imported, you can see that here's the first image and then you can see the others that are added in here. One thing to note is that uh, in each one of these carousel slides, you're allowed to change the destination URL so you can actually link to a product page or to your website or checkout page wherever you want it. And how you edit that is click on the link that says edit destination URL and that's going to give you this option here to paste whatever URL you want into. So if you're using carousels, let's say to promote your YouTube videos, you can have a separate carousel square for each one of your YouTube videos and direct people to click to those specific videos or maybe you're in e-commerce and you have a whole bunch of products you can click and have those people go to those specific product pages in here. The other thing that you're allowed to do here is that you can click on the actual title and manipulate this title so you can change this to anything that you want in there. Now, in my previous videos, I had a whole bunch of comments from people asking, well, I don't have a destination URL. I don't have a link. All that I really want to do is put pictures on here and not have it link anywhere else. Unfortunately, I have not found a way that you can do that. Uh, the only way that I know is that you have to have a link that goes somewhere else. So my recommendation for you is that um, if you don't have a product page that you want to direct this to, just link them to your website or link them back to um, your uh 
Instagram profile or somewhere where you want these people to follow you. Um, the other question that I had from, from people in my previous videos was about this end card. How can you remove it? Most people didn't want to see this profile end card. And unfortunately, you can't. Uh, you can only do this if you're using the ads manager method, which I link somewhere in the comments if you guys want to go check that out. But usually that's when you're creating Facebook ads with carousels. You can remove the end card uh, that has your profile picture because it allows for, I think, up to 10 carousels um, per uh, post. So once you've got this all sorted out and you type your caption of whatever you, you want to write in here, all you really need to do is click share now and then this will publish to your page. So hopefully this solves the problem for a lot of you guys that were looking for this kind of stuff. Again, if this video was super helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments. I'll see you guys on the next one.